I think you're pretty cute. So I, I just uh, came over to introduce myself. You're a nice photographer. Yeah. 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 What would you think about having a cup of coffee sometime? Fellas, on my way to meet up with one of my subscribers, he says he wants to get out there and do some approaches, do some cold approaches with some girls in beautiful downtown Toronto. So let's see how he does. He hasn't really approached too many girls in person. I always love, you know, when somebody wants it, when somebody has that motivation to do so. I wanted to meet you officially on camera. So, introduce yourself to the people out there. Get the Kaushik. I'm originally from India. So I've been here in Toronto for like last eight, nine months. I gotta know, how excited are you for today? On a scale of one to 100, I'm excited 1000%. Ho, 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 I love it. He had this confidence when he walked up to me. He had a spring in his step, so he's ready to rock today. What held you back before from approaching girls? Uh, okay, so the culture where I, from where I come from, it's pretty conservative. So it's not in our culture to like, you know, randomly approach someone. But I always like this idea. I mean, I used to see content creators. And then one day, I developed some balls. And then I was like, yo, your boy's gonna do that? And boom, I started doing that, thanks to this guy, right here. I like your confidence already, I like your style, and I think you're gonna kill it. What is your goal for today? So my goal for today is to increase my confidence. So I'm not focused on results today, I'm focused on how I do, like on the mannerism, on the mechanism that I developed today. And this guy is here to help me out. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's do it, all right. Cut to him sweeping girls off their feet. Let's do it, boom. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Hi. Uh, super random, but I just saw you from the distance, and I think you look pretty cute. So I just came over to introduce myself. Hello. I'm GK. I'm GK. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So what are you doing today? Going home. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Quite I got a long. A I got a concert coming up this weekend. So right. Shopping. Uh huh. And wow. Yeah, now it's home time. Ah, I see. I see. I see. So, which 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 artist concert are you going to? Uh, it's hot in here. Have you ever like Neo, Akon, Ti? Wow. Like the old school 2000s. Exactly. I mean, yeah. who hasn't heard of Akon? I mean, I've, I've, exactly. He's the G. He's exactly. the G. Yeah. That's that's so cool. Okay. So. <clears throat> How would you um, think about having a cup of coffee sometime? What would you think about having a cup of coffee sometime? Well, I'm very picky about my coffee. I mean, I don't mind the tea either, you know. Or if you are capable enough of handling that, how about a drink? Um, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, sure. That's uh, fine. Oh, great. It's just. Just try to number there. Oh. Yeah, it's Samsung. <laughs> I have a yeah, I have an Android. Yeah, because I'm pretty picky about choosing the cell phones too. All right, yeah. Sid, Sid. No, I re I refuse to have a, an Apple device. Right. All I right. I like my I like my Android. Absolutely, I like that tone. All right, so I'll give you a call sometime, right? And let's see how it goes. Right? Okay. Right. Have a great night. You too. First try. First try, what'd you think? Oh man, I don't think it could uh, went any better. I mean, that was score number on the first go. Yo, how, what are the odds of happening of that, <laughs> man? Excuse I me. mean, you did really well. You came in, yeah. you know, you approached her at a good distance. Were there things that you thought you did wrong in the interaction? Uh, okay, so I got this feeling that uh, she was a little intoxicated. So <laughs> I was having doubts whether to like just pull out, go away or not. But then I just you uh, overcame it, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she was telling me that uh, she's going to a concert. So I was like, okay, Akon, what, right? Yeah, That's exactly. What and Akon is someone that I've I've been listening to like you know since my childhood. So it's I believe it's the observational things. Let me just pop out the question. I mean, yo, coffee. She was like, I'm a little bit picky. So I tried to be a little funny there. I mean, so I was like, okay. Tea is also good and I don't know if you're capable enough of handling a drink. That. Boom! She was like, yeah, sure. I, I like that part where you kind of qualified her at the end, where you're like, hey, you know what, if you can handle it, right? If you're capable enough. You know, is, is that kind of what you're going for there, where you're like qualifying her? Yeah, because uh, that's the thing. If, if you're just going to be, like, you know, agreeing with her at all the time or, you know, mm. you're going to seek her approval, 
dude, there's like billions and billions of sims out there that, <laughs> that are doing this exact same thing. One thing that I would have liked to see a little more of is building a little more rapport with the music. You could have talked about like throwback music, right? Like, you know, the Akon, right? When she said, who doesn't know Akon? You could have built off that a little more, yeah. but all in all, man, that was a solid approach. If I had one constructive thing to say, it would be that, you know, there was a little more flirtiness. You, you kind of carry on the conversation a little bit more before you close. I'm excited for approach number two. Thanks, bro. You killed it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Grin from ear to ear. Yo. <laughs> what was going through your mind there as you went up and approached the first girl? Okay, I was definitely a little bit nervous because I haven't been uh, doing this thing for uh, quite a few weeks now. But um, all I was like, you know, I just want this uh, this conversation to be comfortable from both the sides. Like I don't, I don't want like you know any awkward shit because if there, if I if I had sensed any awkward shit either from her or my side, I would have backed out. I was like, okay, there are plenty in pool. I'm just gonna go away. All right, number two. Um, excuse me. Hi there. Um, I know it's super random. But I actually saw you from the distance and I think you're pretty cute. So I, I just uh, came over to introduce myself. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, I'm GK. Hi. You're? Sorry, I don't want to speak. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. Sorry about that. No, no, it's, no, it's all right. Have a nice day. Thank yeah, yeah. you. No problems. All right, so what happened there? I didn't actually hear the audio. She was like, I'm sorry, I just uh, don't seem to... Uh, Seem too comfortable. I can't speak speak right now, but I appreciate it. I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. Go ahead, have a have a nice day. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah, and, and the thing the thing is, is you're not you're not butt hurt about it. You're not. Yeah. You're like whatever, Dude, right? In next thirty seconds, I'm not going to remember her face, and she's not going to remember mine. So, what's the loss? Why get hung up on it? Absolutely, man. Yeah, there's like a million of them right here. <laughs> I believe that you know rejection is such, such a transactional thing. I mean, it's such a transactional human thing. You offer someone some something, they just don't accept it. I'm like, why you're gonna be feel bad about it? Hey, here's a candy for you. Oh, I don't want that. I'm like, okay, fine. Your loss, not mine. Sure. That's it. Bro, oh. they they are. I'm pretty sure they're underage. I've never actually approached a group before. So, I mean, I always feel a little uncomfortable, like, you know, uh, going for a group. I have to, like, you know, I have to focus on the ones that are surrounded by her as well. So, yeah, that's a little bit of uh, not my thing so far. You gonna do it? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. You got this, you got this. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, sorry to interrupt you all. Uh, you mind taking a picture for me? Yeah, My for sure. Thank yeah. you so much. There you go. <sighs> sure, sure, sure. You're a nice photographer. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Thanks. Where are you guys like? Uh, are you visiting from somewhere? Huh? Are you guys visiting from somewhere? No, she came to visit me. I live here. Where are you guys from originally? Oh, Ukraine. Ah, oh, Ukraine. Yeah. That's that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So like, uh, do you live uh, here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Toronto? Yeah. yeah. That that sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. So, um, what are you up to? Do you like these? Do you like this uh, scenery and everything? Yeah, I lived here 10 years. 10 years? Oh, don't. Yeah. You're older than me, like, you know, uh, yeah. to this. That, you know that building right there? Tata? TCS? Yeah. That's where I used to work. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was a software engineer back there. And how about you? How about you? Like... <laughs> ah, I see, I see, I see. So, you just uh, came here? You knew here? Yes, yeah, she came two days ago. Oh, okay, okay. Welcome to Canada. 
I'd say welcome to Tron. Welcome to Tron, I and mean, like it's, uh, it's so good to like have you guys here. Yeah. So, okay. How would you like to go for a cup of coffee sometime? What do you think? Because she only came for one week, so like we're all very, you know, like. Okay, so she's here only for a week. Yeah, yeah, oh no, no, no problem. You, you guys, enjoy your time, cherish thank it, you, and you, you just you. translate to it to her, right? Oh, thank all right, thanks, guys. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye. So how did you feel overall about that? I don't know if you can feel the goosebumps right there. Oh, 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 oh they're shit. still there, dude. Holy they're fuck. still there. And the thing is, I was wondering. I saw you like standing there. You were probably, you know, debating it. You had those negative thoughts. Absolutely, absolutely. I was about to flick. Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? And then, man, the second you went up, and your acting skills are pretty good. You're like, hey, can you uh, take a picture of me? But you did it. That's the important thing. Yeah, I mean, I did it. I mean, I was just trying to, like, you know, the most important is icebreaker, okay? How do you actually open, okay? Because I believe... 50% game is in the open. Mm. If you did that right, if you get get her hooked up, you're pretty. You're gonna do pretty well afterwards as well. So what happened was I I went up to her. I was like, okay, what what do I think? I was like, simple, the most harmless thing in the world. Could you please take a photograph of me? I mean, even if I don't score a number, I would still get a good photograph. Photograph. I mean, I mean that's that's a good thing. And then I started to like you know converse with her. I mean. I heard them, they didn't seem to be uh, very fluent English speakers, so like I asked them and they told me that they were from, from Ukraine. Yeah, So the, yeah, the, the first one has been living here for 10 years, the other one just came here two days ago. So uh, we were having a little bit of conversation here and there. Then I asked her for um, coffee someday and then she told me that, oh, she's just here for like, you know, a week. And I probably think I could have gone for the other one as well, but you know. You know, if... If she, because she did say that she's only here for a week, you could have said, well, then we better go soon, right? We better go tomorrow, or I know this place up the street. Like, you could have actually closed oh, on that. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the other one, who she said that she doesn't speak English, so the other one has to, like, you know, translate for her the whole time. I don't know if they seemed a little bit disinterested or not. I, I didn't want to bother them too much. I was like, yeah, why not? But yeah, I'm going to keep that in mind for the next one. First ever approach. Oh, with more than one girl. And I haven't even done this in, on off camera. Never ever. Okay? Straight on camera. And you know what he told me actually? When I turned off the camera when I was filming uh, the first shot we did, he said that he's never, you said you've never been on camera before? You've never yeah. done this on camera? I've never been on camera. I mean, <laughs> wow. Dude. I can't believe it. When there used to be birthday parties at my home, I even like, you know, didn't like to be like uh, uh, photographed with the whole like, you know, group and family. I'm like, no, I'm, that's not for me. <laughs> Today, I mean, I'm not feeling uh, too bad to be really honest. I thought it may be a little overwhelming so far now. It's natural. It's a, yeah, thanks. First man. time on camera, first time approaching a group of girls on camera. What will we do next? Man, not oh. bad for what, three, four approaches? Right, bro. Let's, yeah. let's keep it going. Absolutely, let's keep it going. Cut out because you were you were so far, right? Okay, okay, dude. I mean, I'd say this was actually like one of the best and challenging approaches, but yeah, like ever. Because you were walking, you man, you walked to the end of the Timbuktu yeah, with her, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. And the thing is, I I kind of sensed that she was pulling out a little, so I actually tried testing her myself. Ooh, yeah. So, so what'd you do? Uh, so, by the way, spoiler alert: your boy got the number. <laughs> And just to verify that, I checked if it was a fake number or not. It was not fake. It was ringing on her phone. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at the confidence in this man's eye. Look at that. I sensed that she had a little accent. So I asked her, like, you know, where is she from? She doesn't, she does seem to have an accent. She said, Kazakh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. I mean, I'm sorry for, for my pronunciation because I'm not sure, totally sure about the exact pronunciation. So then I... No, I asked her like, I'm, I guess she's going to school. So yeah, she, she told me that you know, she's going to school nearby at Ryerson and everything. I asked her, her program and then, you know, all that BS. And then I was like, you know, mm, you soon seem to be a nice person. Like, uh, how about you go for a cup of coffee with me? And she was like, hmm. Then my usual line, she was, I was like, okay, I wouldn't mind for not having coffee. Tea also suits me. And if you're capable enough, let's have a drink. 
And then she was like, I'm capable of having anything. <laughs> Yo, Ooh. that's a nice confident girl there. Yeah. Then she was like, I'm not sure about uh, whether our age group is going to collide or not. I was like, okay, really? this, is, this is a little weird. I was like, I, I told her my age, like, I'm 25. She was like, I'm 18, but that's not a huge age gap. That's what she said. I was like, okay, okay, this girl got something. And then I was like, okay, let's take you out. And she was like, hmm. She was, she was about to give her number, then she was like, do you use any social media or anything? I was like, okay, this is this is definitely a shit test. So I I, I told her that I'm, I'm not using any social media right now. I'm a little bit on detox mode. So she was like, yeah, have my number. It's a good comeback actually. Right, isn't it? So she was like, have my number. Then I called her to check like, you know, okay, I'm just giving you a call and that, it is what it is. And you know? boom, boom. Deal, the deal just like that. Yo. <laughs> You know, that's a great, that man, I don't know if you're going to top that for today. I think that's going to be the, the grand finale right there. Yeah. All right. So what, what are you going to leave the fellas with out there? Do you want to give like a, like a final message? What did you think of your approaches today? Sum everything up. Sum up what happened. Okay. So the most important thing is, guys, all the anxiety and everything, that's just here. What people are going to think about, that's just present in your head. That's it. It's actually non-existent. No one's, no, no one gives a shit about like, you know, what you're going, what you're saying to anyone. Just don't think about it. Just go, approach, just smile, be, be a little presentable and that's it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, dude, there are million fishes in the pond. What are you going to do about it? Well, it's so true. Right? Man, the possibilities are endless. Absolute, On to the next, you know, if absolute. the one doesn't work out. <laughs> exactly. What I believe is, Girls are gonna look bad on you if you look bad upon yourself. So let's just say someone is a little bald or someone someone has a dad bald. If you're gonna be insecure about that stuff, bam, game's over right there.